One of the resolutions that I hear people talk about is that they want to either stop spending or um, spend less or, you know, stuff like that. And it's good to get a buckle on your on your spending, but chances are it's just not going to happen. Um, you're going to be gung-ho for a couple weeks, and then you're going to get sidetracked on Amazon and just start buying all kinds of stuff, and then you're going to feel real guilty. And uh, it's good to try and cut down on your spending, um, but it's almost impossible. I mean, you know what I mean? You're going to pay rent or, or your mortgage, or you're going to pay your utility bills. And so then we say, well, no excess spending. Well, that's easier said than done. You, excuse me, you go to get on your shirt and you realize that most of my sh holes, shirts have holes in them. Well, I guess I need to go get a shirt. See what I mean? It, and then it's easier to, um, what's it called, uh, slip back into just wasteful spending. So a better solution that I've found, give it a try, see how it works for you, is instead of saying, no excess spending. Um, you know, this year I resolved to, to, to stop spending instead of that. Let's try a different approach. Let's say something like this. Go to your finances. Do an outline diagram of how much you are pulling in, how much money you are making, and how much money you are having to spend. This, the bare essentials, okay? Your utility bills, your rent, um, Gas, that kind of stuff, okay? The unavoidable expenses. Now, divide your unnecessary, your, not unnecessary, your essential expenses from your income and see what's left over. And then divide that like this, okay? I have this much money that I'm putting into my savings account because there's the thing. When, I, when an emergency comes up, you don't take out a loan or take out your credit card. You use the money in your savings account. Savings accounts aren't really good for um, for uh, accumulating wealth because the interest rates on savings accounts are not significant enough to um, to warrant it. Uh, you know, it, the American dollar is becoming less valuable faster than the interest on your savings account is making that dollar more valuable. So remember that savings accounts have uses mostly as a rainy day kind of situation but if you're trying to have a good investment a savings account is not the way to go you should be thinking more of 401ks or something like that um savings account and people think that's too complicated that's for another that's a whole different discussion but it's not as complicated as you think it's it's actually a lot easier than you think um but okay so just keep that in mind um and, you know, okay, so this is how much of that money that's left over that bring into savings account. And this is how much money I have for excess spending. So just make sure that, that, that you don't spend any more than that amount. Now, when you're figuring out your utilities, you take whatever your highest utility is, and then you add 10%. So that way, if anything happens, you're clear. Now, you might say, but I already have more expenses than income. Well... See, this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Because everything's kind of shut down, you're a little bit limited. But you can still you can still cut out expenses. Here's some good expenses that people typically um, don't really even think about. Um, lowering your phone bill. Maybe you don't need internet on your phone. Maybe you don't need that nice of a phone. Like, maybe you can downsize. It, it, can, you, can your ego handle it is the question. Um, there's that. Maybe you can afford to buy cheaper clothes. Um, maybe you don't need as many clothes as you have. Um, maybe you can stop paying for games to play online and just enjoy the games offline that you have. Um, and another idea is stop eating out so much. Oh, well, eating out saves me money. No, it doesn't. The only reason why you think that it saves you money is because you're terrible with your money. If you do a cost analysis, you can find ways to save money. My wife saves so much money on her coupons and receipts that we almost get paid to go shopping. Almost, not not quite, but almost. Uh, she uses different apps. One of them is called Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A. And you get uh, you get all kinds of stuff, you know, for what you buy. I mean, all kinds of money back for what you buy. And it's, it's really kind of neat. Check it out. Um, uh, other than that, um, some other common expenses 
um, credit card uh, interest. If you have your credit card where it just has a bunch of money sitting on it, the interest on it is not worth it. Oh, well, I'm building up my, my, my credit score. Credit cards are not great for building up a credit score. That's not great. I know the bank will tell you, oh, it will help. No, it won't. It, it won't. That's just not really how the credit score works. Uh, take out a long-term loan, like a, a mortgage. Uh, that will build up your credit score over time. But the thing is, is, you really only need a good credit score to have credit, like to, to, to take out a loan. It's not as important as, as everybody tries to make you think. Yeah, you can kind of live without it. It's not really come into play for me. Um, I've bought two houses and it just never really was a factor. I mean, you can get better interest rates, uh, but I mean, eh, there's always ways around things. Um, uh, another thing is subscriptions. Oh my goodness, subscriptions, they're everywhere. Uh, maybe you have like Amazon or Hulu or whatever. Just try cutting it out. And you might say, well, that's only a couple dollars. Yeah, that's a couple dollars that you're spending every single month. And you add that up by 12, that's how much money you're spending a year on that. And it's not a necessary thing. If you skimp and you save and you cut out the things that aren't really necessary, that really don't bring you that much happiness anyways, you'll, you'll find you're a lot better off. And you might think, oh, well, I, I, need, I need to have my shows to watch. And here's the thing, you really don't. Uh, go outside, enjoy the world, enjoy your life. Um, you know, sitting back watching other people live life and, and things that just make you emotionally unstable. Uh, like, did you see how many people were falling apart about Game of Thrones? It was insane. Uh, I honestly think that, that there was some, some crying going on. It just it was, might be a better way. So, anyways, um, so just some ideas of how to, how to meet your resolutions of lowering your spending. Instead of cutting out spending entirely, do a budget and give yourself a certain amount to spend every month and then stick to that amount. Now, all your eating out, all your coffees that you buy, all that comes out of that. So if you would rather, instead of buying a new book every month, for instance, or instead of buying a new coffee every week or whatever, um, get a Hulu account, for instance, or Netflix or whatever you use. Um, and that way, it comes out of that same excess spending and it doesn't really hurt you and you can still be building up a savings account for a rainy day when your car breaks down or when something happens with you know a water line busting or something like that you, you don't want to be caught off guard so i hope that this was helpful and uh you know I'll, I'll try to make a few more videos on how to how to stick with your resolutions how to make those 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 goals really become uh really really happen